G'day and welcome to another Visions of Chaos tutorial. This tutorial is all about creating movies with Visions of Chaos. Now the first thing I recommend you do is set up a new directory on your hard drive or a secondary hard drive that has got loads of space on it because as you make movies the frames themselves and the final movies they can be quite big and be many gigabytes in size. But to specify the folder you want to use for creating movies open the options form and under the directories tab you see this BMP, OBJ, MIDI and movie files path and so just hit select there and choose a folder that you have created and then you're ready to go. Most of the modes within Vision of the Chaos have got the ability to create a movie from the steps or frames as they run. As an example let's go into the 3D gravity mode and for speed purposes I'll just drop down the number of objects of 50,000 instead of 100,000, just makes it a bit quicker on this slow machine. Check this Create Movie Frames checkbox. With that checked it means that each update of the simulation will be saved onto your hard drive as a movie frame. Other settings are fine. I've got some previous frames that it's found, so we'll just those. And then on the 3D view it's okay to accept the defaults because it automatically sets those up for each mode. And so we can just click OK and it will start to churn away and calculate the simulation. And so I'll let this run for a minute or two so it has a series of frames to build a movie from. As you can see on the status bar here, it's giving an update of how many steps, the time per step, how much time is spent on the OpenCL, and how much time is on the actual displaying the particles themselves, and how much time is spent processing, and the total number of objects. Let's just let this go for a few more frames. Okay, that should be enough for our purposes. Once you have enough frame for your movie, you can stop the simulation. You will then see the Build Movie Settings dialog appear. This has got your target file name, the, well, the movie format, the frames per second, and various other options for processing. For this movie, I will just accept the defaults and we'll just hit build. So that converts all of those bitmap files into a movie file and then it plays in your default movie player. Nice and simple. In any dialog, if you see the Create Frames checkbox, that means you can create a movie from that mode. The next thing that we will cover is using a script file to zoom into a fractal. So for this purpose, I'll go into the Custom Formula Editor mode and and select a uh, select a fractal for this purpose. Let's have a look here. We'll go the uh, Power Three Two A. Let's open up a different color palette for that. Okay, that looks pretty good. To create your own script, you have your fractal at its first starting point, and you just say uh, movie script, add current point to script. And then you zoom in to where you want it to zoom into next. We'll have a look down around here. Again, scripts and current point to script. He will then ask you for how many steps you want between this and the last frame. We'll do 60 frames. Since it's set to 60 frames per second movie, this means that each click zoom will take a second of movie time. And then you can continue this process. So we'll zoom into there. At that point, let's go into here. At that point, Try down here again. And that's probably enough for a quick test. To see your script, you can use the script manager. So this shows you all of the various points and their settings, which you really don't have to worry about. And it's also got the global settings there, which has got things like the palette and various other settings specific to that fractal type. To make the movie, you just click Create Frames. And it's found those previous frames from the 
gravity simulation we run, and so we can delete that. And okay, unsaved script. If you haven't saved your script before it begins, this will warn you, and so it probably is a good idea to save the script because if you're doing a really long movie and you get a power outage or something crashes, you can then lose that. So it's a good idea to um, save it, but since this is just a quick test, I'll say no. And then off it goes, and uh, and so the frames render through now, and it smoothly goes between each point. You can see down here the estimated time left is about a minute and a half, and so we'll just wait for that to finish. Once that finishes creating the frames, the movie build settings dialog appears again, same as last time, just click build. It converts those frame files into a movie and displays it. And there you go, you've got your first fractal zoom movie. And that pretty much covers the movie creation. It's all fairly simple. They all use the process of you make the frames first and then you convert the frames into a movie file. Okay, that's everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.